the way we communicate, it has changed a lot over the last several years. Many people rarely even actually make a phone call. So it makes sense that organizations and businesses are changing the way they do things as well. Yeah, be nice. The Mental Health Foundation of West Michigan has partnered with the Crisis Text Line to provide another way for someone who's struggling to get help. Welcome to Christy Buck to share more about this new partnership. Christy, thank you so much for being with us. Great to be here and let people know of this new endeavor that we have going. Yeah. It's all good. Well, it's something that you had brought up that spring is actually the most common time for people to take their own lives. It has a high number. The, the rate of suicide does mm -hmm. increase during the springtime months. And this is in part due to um, depression and depression, the illness, and people not going out and getting treatment and help. So during the wintertime, many of us struggle with you know depression, what we call SAD, seasonal affective disorder. And for those who actually are struggling, struggling with the illness, they may not seek help and treatment. And coming out of this, they're not feeling good still. They're still isolating themselves. They don't want to be around people. They may be withdrawn. And at that point, they may be contemplating taking their life. In addition, there is a lot of research that goes into inflammation in the brain and with inflammation can come depression, and inflammation many times is due to allergies. So the rate of allergies goes up, and it also does inflammation and therefore depression. Wow, I never wow. knew that. Yeah. What a connection yeah. that, that, that I, I that, learned a lot. That, that your at allergies, a presentation. Yeah. Come, that's amazing. Yeah. So as we mentioned at the top of the segment, people aren't really phoning anybody anymore, right? The hotline is out, the text line yeah. is in. The text line is in, and it's uh, it's been there for a while. It's 741741, but the Mental Health Foundation, we decided we're pushing forward to enhance our programs. So we said, let's partner with them. So now someone who may be in one of our education classes, they will get our information, and that is text NICE, NICE, to 741741, and you will start the conversation with a person on the other side of that phone. So we want to be able to do this to gather data, gather some demographics of age, um, where people are coming from. We want to gather data about what are the issues that people are texting, and this is the information that we're going to get back to us. So at all times at the Mental Health Foundation, with the program Be Nice, we want it to be up to date. We want to be talking the right talk to the individuals that might be in our classes, to the individuals within businesses and companies, schools. We want to know what the conversation is right now. So this is good information for us also. Absolutely. So so someone, say they're struggling and, and they text to you, what kind of help can they get? Yeah, they're actually texting to clinicians. Right. Okay. So they're texting NICE, and this is going to the landing spot where there are people answering the text. They're all trained. Um, these texts come through 4,000 a day. Wow. And 90% of these texts typically are from people that are in a distressful situation right then. They could be in psychological pain and need someone to talk to. So potentially, this texting, you're texting a friend. And maybe it's at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of times that's where anxiety, that psychological pain, can be the most prevalent is during those late hours where you may not have a real friend right. to text. And, uh, so, and we, what you mentioned is talking the talk. Yeah. Uh, is, do you find that texting might actually remove a barrier? Because some people might be a little oh, yeah. too ashamed or shy yeah. or distraught to it. actually verbalize how they're feeling, but texting it might be simpler. For sure. And we know this, right? And this is why being here today with you both, reiterating that. People might not have that knowledge base that that's what's going on. And that's why people that are listening today encourage a loved one to have that text in their phone. Mm. Be ready. Everybody should be ready because we know that the rates of depression and anxiety have all risen over the past two years. It's a fact. And so why not have a helpline right at my fingertips ready to go? Now, the talk line is also available too. So that's 988. And we know that in Michigan, all high school students, middle and high, were mandated on their IDs that they wear every day is the flip side of their picture is the 988 phone number, and I believe the 741741. So for us, when the business that we're in to educate about mental health awareness, suicide prevention, why not 
partner with the crisis text line. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's such a great opportunity for people, I it. mean, to, to have be so accessible, yep. right? Yep. Um, a couple other things yeah. we want to talk about. You guys, some events coming up. We got so, some great events coming yeah. up. So one of them is on April 22nd, and it takes place in Zeeland, Michigan. It's called Love and Lean. You can go onto our website at benice.org and find out more information. But this was created by a family who lost a loved one to suicide, a young man who was a student at Zealand, Zach Kroll. And the family felt empowered to do something to make a change. So they created this and we've been doing it for years and so it's always a great way to get involved. In addition, our 21st annual Stomp Out Stigma is taking place May 20, downtown Grand Rapids. People can go on our website. Again, it's an opportunity for folks to come um, walk and you know that's people possibly with lived experience or maybe people who have lost someone to suicide sure well uh, yep. get it in your phone right now there you go. As you, I mean, you have your phone. smartphone get 741741 in there and they have it saved so if you need it it's there be nice.org for more information or you can always phone 616-389-8601 we'll be right back